So Canada has been completely deceived, okay? The banks and the government in collusion have taken all of your money and all of your service. That's the truth, okay? The average Canadian needs to be awakened to the fact that bankers have taken as much money from them as they possibly can through zero reserve lending and insane mortgages, okay? And quite frankly, the government of Canada has been completely aware of this the whole time and has done nothing to fix it, which means that the government is in bed with these people like you wouldn't believe. And this is all dramatically coming to a head right now, as it has been for a long time, brewing, like where people cannot, or they are so afraid of not being able to make their mortgage payments. And the numbers are totally out of whack, okay, between the money constantly demanded by the bankers and the wages that the average worker earns, okay, for righteous work week over week, and the whole thing is corrupt. The entire government of Canada is corrupt, the banking system is corrupt, and they are in bed with each other. And the working class is now waking up to this <laughs> because the numbers are so out of whack that these, these mortgage numbers, these so-called debt overhangs cannot be sustained unless the government of Canada has done what it just did, send out ridiculous amounts of money through the CERB payments and the upcoming CRB payments just to prop up the mortgage payments to feed the banks. Do you not see what this pandemic is actually about, folks? Do you, do you not understand, okay, why all of this CERB money and all this CRB money is getting sent out to people who just funnel it back into the rent payments, which go straight into the hands of the bankers, and it's all a giant prop-up fest to continue to enrich the bankers and enrich the government and the working class and the, and the people paying all this are getting hosed and have been getting hosed for a long time. That is actually what's going on. Okay, so I'm just here to tell you the truth about Canada. The banking system and everyone involved with it is 100% sinful, 100% in sin, and totally judgeable by God. Um, and it's been insanely corrupt for so long, okay? Um, like I said, the amount of digital debt declarations in the accounts of the bankers nationwide compared to the actual physical printed currency that is supposed to be authorized by the government of Canada, which is elected and funded by the taxpaying citizens, the working class, it's totally insanely out of proportion because of the zero reserve lending law that the bankers have, which means they can create a loan of any value at any interest they want that doesn't even come close to the amount of physical government printed currency that they have in their banking institution. Did you get that? So they could have literally zero Canadian dollars printed by the government, okay, and they just say, okay, you instantly, we're giving you a loan for $1.6 million, and but you have to pay us back. 2.2 million dollars and none of the money's real so you're just giving us free money every month while we laugh our heads off and you work like dogs there i've just told you the truth about banking and mortgages and all money lending and banking and and the entire government of canada it's 100 percent corrupt it's the biggest white collar crime ring that ever existed on planet earth that smiles at you pretending to be your friend <laughs> all right I just you know there's very easy solutions to these problems and I've already talked about them before but I'm just here to say it like it is so we can bring an end to all the lies the ignorance the wickedness the foolishness and the phoniness